All right. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the community. Deeds of our tarot. Thank you for joining in with me today. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome back to all the summer subscribers and welcome to all the new subscribers. Once again, thank you all for joining in with me today. As you see from the title of the video, we're going to go ahead and dive into this beautiful MOTD. Before we do, it should go without saying, please do check the description box for any information that you may want or need to know. And if you have any questions, do not hesitate to let me know. As it states in the description box, these readings are intended to be timeless. Time and energy are fluid, meaning you could have already gone through this. You may currently be going through this and or this may be a prophetic message to come if you decide to embrace and embody the energy or advice that spirit has for you within the reading or readings. Please, 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 please keep in mind that they are general. Not all may apply to you. That's perfectly okay. Take what does, let the rest fly. It may be a message for someone else. I may not even be talking to you nor about you. I may be talking to or about someone to whom you're closely connected, friend, family, or so. I do not know your life. So I always ask you to please use your free will and discernment to determine that, all right? We also don't subscribe to gender roles. However, you will likely still hear me say he and or she in reference to masculine and feminine energies. It just depends on what I feel and read intuitively. Again, roles may be reversed. So you do not force anything that is not for you because I am not responsible for your feet, your toes, nor them currents hurting, all right? All right. Uh... Let's see what I need to tell you. Oh, we are utilizing the beautiful star codes, Astro Oracle as the header, and then the Muse Tarot as confirmation, clarification, what have you, looking deeper into what the overall message from the header is about, all right? Yeah, and then finally, y'all, I am big on numerology, whether or not I call it out, but if and when I do, I intend for it to likely resonate with your life path number, the day and or month that you are born, maybe even talking about the house that you want to pay particular attention to within your natal chart, whatever, what have you, could just be confirmation that you need, woo, that you need to pay particular attention at that time within the message, all right, ooh, hold on, this is a beautiful card, we got which we're going to get into it in a minute. <laughs> Let me get through this. Um, Yeah, that's all on the disclaimer, y'all. Let's get a quick word of prayer so we can, because they trying, oh, yep. They trying to have me dive all in, because look, I'm going to just tell y'all this before we get into prayer, and then we're going to get in it. Uh, First out is Mars motion, the number 22 in reverse, however. The second one is the number 20 Mercury messages upright, 242, as I looked up. And then we got Virgo digest at the bottom of the deck, the number six, y'all. Oh, we. Let's get a corporate prayer. To the most high, heavenly and divine angels, ancestors, spirit guides, I come to you saying thank you. Thank you so very much for this day and for this opportunity. Thank you for giving me life, health, and strength to bring forth these messages. Thank you for using me as a clear and open channel to bring forth the messages to the collective straight and clear, no chaser. I pray as always that the message uplifts, enlightens, heals, protects, nurtures, nourishes, just bring whatever whatever the viewer may need at the, and may it play out in their lives for any and all involved. Ooh. Whew. For the utmost and highest good as I know you will see fit. Mm -mm. For all these blessings, I come ask and give thanks. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Oh, y'all, I can't even get through that fast enough, man. Because, look, we keep having the same energies come out. And I'm starting to wonder. <laughs> I'm starting to wonder, baby. Hold on now. What really is good? Okay. All right, y'all. <clears throat> we about to do this. What a way to end this. To end the wrap this week up. So, with this Mars in motion, uh, in reverse, I mean, clearly. <laughs> Stop. Think about it, 414 on the timer, as I said that. Obviously, something's not moving. You're not going anywhere. You need to reassess the situation. See what you may have a stronghold on or over, which may be blocking you, because it's definitely some resistance here. And then I was even going to say, see who may have a stronghold over you. Honey, 
It could be Mars energy, Scorpio, and Aries for me. Doesn't have to be. This is heavy fire energy. This is this, oh, okay. This is that fight or flight is what I'm hearing. Really more so. Well, both. Yes, I said it right. But I was getting ready to say more so fight because this to me, and I'm even getting sage energy. But in regards to because I I'll be saying it with sage. Um, but it's like with it in reverse, though, it's like, no, you don't have to fight anymore, like surrender, basically. And that's the energy that I generally always get with Sage, especially the nine of wands or yeah, especially the nine of wands. And that's the vibe I'm getting from this. The other thing is I see how some, like somebody got a really a, a stronghold, basically, like I said, and it's like I'm hearing you can't handle the truth because they holding that sword like it's like everything. I don't know. Is that what you're saying? Like, you is that what you 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 wanting? You seeking the truth, or you got the stronghold over your truth? Oh, okay, some of you are holding strong to your truth. I can I can dig that. I can dig that. You're not budging on that. Just make sure that it's not so um, forceful in that it can be overbearing. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's okay for you. To, please be authentic. Please stand up for yourself and stand in your truth. But it, it doesn't have to be in a way where, like I said, overbearing or like, um, I hear too hot to handle. Because <laughs> if you're trying to encourage someone or influence others, you know, to make the change or do what they need to do, blah, 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 to just be an influencer or even a coach or something like that, it's like, you kind of got to, not that you got to sugarcoat anything, but you know, you get more with sugar or honey than you do with spice, with uh, salt. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, I know that saying. I know you do. That's all. That's all I'm saying. It's just, it's, it's nothing wrong because please don't be out here faking. You know what I mean? Anyway, to clarify, we got the three of materials and the high priestess, which is in reverse. The three of materials is telling me that somebody is trying to build something, would like to build something with you potentially, or maybe this is you with someone else. However, it's like, mm -mm, it's not, it's not, it's not going anywhere. Right. And I feel like maybe you are wanting to be on one accord with like-minded individuals, or you, you're wishing that whether it's a Scorpio, uh, um, what I said, sage and or Aries in this energy. And then with the priestess in reverse, that's priestess is generally like Piscean, Virgo in, sometimes even Libran for me. Um, energy. It's like, mm, I don't see that really working. And I feel like you're somebody's not listening to their intuition. Um, maybe because she the way that she's holding that moon in her hand against her palm. It's like that's how she's receiving the enlightenment but it's like uh-uh i'm also getting her like i'm getting that vibe like i just told y'all with the mars in reverse stop think about it you know eight eight zero zero on the timer as i said that but yeah i mean it's like yeah no this ain't maybe it's not meant to be right now I, it doesn't mean forever and always right i don't know or maybe you try building this relationship this situationship you try working together and whatever that means with, I don't know, it could even just be with spirit. Maybe that's what the thing, that's the device is for you to work more with them and you're not. You know what I'm saying? Which is why the intuition, the high priestess is in reverse. Some of you don't even see that, I don't think. Number, the twos are really screaming. You might start seeing two, twenty-two, two, 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 whatever. Okay. And then moving on to um, Mercury and the messages, like, that's what I'm saying. It's like, don't, don't shoot the messenger, please. I'm just delivering it how I feel it and see it and hear it, okay? I see two, look, I told you twos are screaming. And I see at least two people going toe-to-toe -to -toe or head-to-head. -to -head. And it may be some kind of miscommunication or something like that. I don't know. But I'm definitely seeing, didn't I say somebody got a stronghold or like something, got a grip on something? And these are definitely intertwined. So you may have gone round and round and round and round and round with this individual or people. Because in the three materials, it can be more than one. 
and it's like somebody's not hearing the other person and it's just like no just stop just stop trying to just give it up you know surrender there's only so much you can say and do you can't force nobody to do nothing against their will you know what i'm saying you can only change you and the way you react and how you handle it you know what i mean so and your your own emotions speaking of emotions moving into the clarifiers we got the two of emotions which is heavy um water sign piscean cancer or scorpio energy i'm getting heavy pisces and then we got the 10 the wheel in reverse which that's why I said we keep getting the same energy. The two of cups as well as this um, wheel has been has come up uh, in previous days readings, whether at the bottom of the deck or actually come out. Right. And it's like this is the tent. The wheel is that sage energy. And I told y'all sage can be that fight or flight. Basically, it's all about movement. But something is not moving, as you see with the Mars in reverse. Something is being halted. And even like I told you in the priestess, it's like, no, stop. Think about it. Like, uh-uh. And I feel like it with the uh, coupled with this two of emotions, because this is like my soul. The two of emotions is my soulmate, you know, type of bond or relationship. And it's just like, maybe this relationship is not moving. You know, it's not going anywhere right now. And it's just like there's something i feel like the communication is what it is which is is lacking somebody y'all not y'all either are not communicating or like i said there's been a misunderstanding or miscommunication which does not help the situation at all and with the 10 something has to end i'm talking about y'all got twos heavy somebody has to choose somebody has to choose to let go or surrender, like I said. Or even decide whether or not this is worth fighting for. That's why I'm saying fight or flight. That's I feel like that's that's gonna be the, the message. I mean the, the title. Because as the bot as I can't even talk, boy. <laughs> Looking into the bottom of both decks, but beginning with the header deck, we got Virgo and Digest in the number six, and it's like I feel like it's talking about somebody needing to surrender, let go, move, remove themselves, step back a minute and allow, I just heard the situation to digest or you to digest the situation, right? Or whoever else is all involved. I don't know, but it's something like that. So that you, uh, I was going to say, potentially can see what it is, the truth of it all and the point of it all. I love you. Mm -hmm. Because we have the underneath at the bottom of the um what you call this? The tarot is the moon in reverse. And this has been coming out too. And it's just like, man, somebody I do I do kind of like this in reverse because on one end I can see that somebody is no longer with the shits. And by shits I mean like they're not with the bullshit of the illusions of whatever, what have you. Somebody may be trying to fake the funk or throw a wool over your eyes and all that bullshit. They like, nah, I see it for what it is. And it's, it's, that's, that's not it yet. And I'm moving on. Right. That's why. So, you know, this one is this one. It, uh, but it also can be as with the emperor, the empress. Ooh, wait, somebody may quite literally be dealing with a Libra or Taurus, but with the priestess is what I was trying to say in reverse. They're both telling me that somebody is not really following their intuition. Like you're being intuitively guided to do what you need to do, whether this it means work with this person or work on yourself, honestly, with spirit. Um, or just, you know, surrender, like let it be what it is and let time heal it all. You know what I mean? Because underneath that, we got the seven of inspiration, which, like I said, it's like with this in reverse it's like let down your guard, you know, stop fighting basically. Because generally with the seven of inspirations, just like the nine of wands or inspiration, that's that's like somebody fighting like for what they want. You know what I'm saying? Really with the seven of inspirations is more like they're they're protecting themselves, right? They're standing guard against any of the other energies that chaos, confusion, negativity that may be coming at them, right? But it's like this that, that surrender I'm getting out of it. And it could be any fire sign. Um, Jen, Aries, Leo, or Sage. Okay, and then she, again, 
And then the Ace of Inspiration in reverse underneath that shit. The Nine of Inspiration. I'm telling y'all <laughs> in reverse. I cannot make this up, y'all. I promise I can't. And I really just be channeling. And I, shh, whatever. I ain't going to go into that whole rant. But basically, with or without the card, y'all, that's what it is. That's the message with this Mercury energy here. So don't shoot the messenger. All right. Let's get on into these readings, shall we? Oh, Jesus. So, for the cards that are in reverse, well, mainly just the Mercury, I mean the, uh, shit, the, um, Mars, uh, pay attention, particular attention to the challenge, okay? Because that's highlighted when they're in reverse. So, I guess we'll just go in the way that they came out. And it's funny because now we're ending up going backwards in the book. Some of you may find yourself going backwards, especially if you continue to deal with this shit. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, no. Anyways, excuse me. Beginning with 22 Mars in motion, pages 60 and 61. Mars, a mythological god of war and the traditional ruler of Aries and Scorpio, speaks of independence. <laughs> what I tell y'all. Enterprise and willfulness, aggression, passion, and defenses. In parentheses, they say, including your body's defenses, such as your immune system. In parentheses. Mars takes 1.9 Earth years to go around the Zodiac. So you're, quote, terrible twos, end quote, when you learn to say no and yes and demand things was the expression of your first Mars return. The action. Mars urges you to take action, any action, but this can get you in trouble. <laughs> Jump into motion, but stay in the driver's seat and think through the consequences of your moves. Mars is raw energy, and like the motor of a fine sports car, it can take you far if you add wisdom and guidance. Mars wants you to develop your strength and bravery, so work out and develop muscles or rescue the proverbial underdog. Boldly go where you have not gone before and passionately dive into life. Mars loans you the competitive edge to obtain a fiercely desired goal and teaches that for you, for your quote yes and quote to truly mean yes or no, excuse me, <clears throat> hold on. Mars loans you the competitive edge to obtain a fiercely desired goal and teaches that your Jeez, and teaches that for your yes to truly mean yes, your no needs to be respected. All right. Know what you want and don't want and be aware of those desires in the people around you. Learn to fight and fight fairly. Stand your ground with grace and compete against your own personal best. If you are in a difficult situation, it could take real strength and willpower to transform or escape. You may need to dig in your heels so you are not pushed around or pull out your sword, look at that, to draw a clear line in the sand. Do what needs to be done. Just make sure it's the right thing. The challenge. Here's where you need to pay particular attention. Domineering willfulness, misuse of sexuality, anger, belligerence, and a warlike mentality are the shadow side of Mars. Break the momentum if your situation heads downhill. Stop for a moment and think through your next move. That's what I was saying about being overbearing with your will and desires, okay? And your truth. It's okay. You please stand up for yourself, as I said, but you don't have to force the issue. If ain't nobody taking you at face value, fuck them. Move on with your life. That mean they don't mean you no good and you don't need to deal with them. You know what I mean? 1811. All right. If you, let's see, did I read that already? Yeah. So the gift, the higher note of Mars energy man manifests as a divine guardian, your potent inner first responder who is ready to be the hero in a dangerous situation and protect you and yours. Let me read that again. The higher note of Mars energy manifests as a divine guardian, your potent inner first responder who is ready to be the hero in a dangerous situation and protect you and yours. Like I said, fight or flight, my G. All right. All right, moving on to 20, Mercury and Messages, pages 56 and 57. Mercury symbolizes your mental switchboard, how you think, communicate, and move through the world. Remember, they told you to think it through, right? Make sure it's the right thing to do before doing it. So the smallest planet rules Gemini and Virgo and is closest to the sun, completing its orbit in about 88 Earth days. That's powerful right there, the eights. Because it orbits so close, it can only be found in the same sign as the sun, the one before it, or one after it. Mercury has large, dense, molten core, and one day on the planet takes 58 Earth days. Okay, how do they know that? <laughs> Mercury retrogrades three times a year for three weeks, slowing time so you can remember, review, and reconnect. The action. 
communicate what I said is lacking. Because some of you is lacking, baby. That's why what you call it is in reverse. And uh, what else did I say? Whatever else I said. Y'all know what I said. <laughs> the mood is quick, fast, and cerebral. Look at your situation from many different sides. Be light on your feet and make sure you have all the information you need. If not, be ready to research, investigate, translate, mediate, check your facts, and learn. Follow up on all lines of communication to make sure others understand what you said and you understand what they intended. Publish, broadcast, network, and engage social media. Make the call, submit the resume, send the manuscript. Check all Mercury-ruled equipment such as vehicles and communication electronics. Proofread and back up your files. Mythological Mercury could be a trickster when he worked from himself, but he also played the role of psycho... <laughs> what? Psychopomp? What is that? Diving into the underworld to escort trapped spirits out of it. If you need to go down into your own personal underworld, it may be time to walk with a therapist, shamanic healer, or other integ integrous guide that... I meant... It may be time to walk with a therapist, shamanic healer, or other in in integrous guide into that deep realm. All right. The challenge. When a quick mind is not connected to the heart, it can cause trouble. Watch out for the busy hamster wheel of the mind, shallow thinking, scattered, dishonest, or glib approaches and mistakes made when in a rush. That's where that seven of swords and all that other energy was coming from. 2112 as I looked up. Yeah, that's what that is. So the gift. Mercury was the messenger of the gods. Listen deeply to the messages of your soul. I'm sorry. That was from yesterday. Oof. Yeah, but it's definitely connected. Definitely connected. So y'all very, if you missed it, go, go check it out to see what I'm talking about. Okay. Anyhow, um, let's see, where was I? So shallow thinking, scattered dishonor. Let me read that again. When a quick mind is not connected to the heart, it can cause trouble. Watch out for the busy hamster wheel of the mind, shallow thinking, scattered, dishonest, or glib approaches, and mistakes made when in a rush. That's why they, that, okay, because I'm hearing, slow down, I just want to get to know you. That's why the motion, the Mercury, uh, Mars is in reverse, okay? Slow down, don't move too fast, all right? So the gift, Mercury was a messenger of the gods. Listen deeply to the messages of your soul, the conduit to spirit, and become the messenger. Okay? All right. Finally, number six, Virgo, Digest, pages 28 and 29. Symbolized by a woman or goddess holding a sheaf of wheat, the mutable earth sign Virgo is ruled by Mercury. Wheat can only feed the multitudes once the grain is sorted from the shaft. Virgo is connected to the nervous system and the intestinal tract, the job of which is to sort nutrients from waste. The sun shines here August 21st through September 21st. Action. Look for the grain and release the chaff. Or chaff, excuse me. Weed, harvest, sort. Something in this situation needs to be sorted, edited, or reorganized. Didn't I say redeveloped or something like that? In order to bring in its harvest. Whether you're asking about a relationship, a work project, or the culture in which you work. Virgo wants you to be specific. Sort and release a habit. Not a person, right? Because you, whatever. <laughs> whatever it's that's in parentheses not a person okay sort and release a habit and change you change how you interact and in parentheses they say but not necessarily with whom you interact okay in parentheses examine the situation for the patterns that need to be released and, compo and composted and what seeds need to be saved for another time or planted for the next season rather than focusing on faults appreciate what is valuable about each interaction opportunity and person Truly absorb the worth and wonder and be healed by thereby. It may be time to take an introspective break and work on your self-care routine. Look at your diet and health habits to see what needs improvement. Absorb vitality. Okay? And then the challenge. If you just weed the garden and don't plant or cultivate, all you'll have is an empty bed. Editing without creating gives you no content. Sometimes you have to ask the inner editor to take a break and let the creative process flow. Ooh -wee. Then in parentheses, it says, then let the editor clean and polish. I like that. I like that a lot. So the gift. This world is gloriously complex. Virgo encourages us to see how the details fit together, how the leaves and twigs make up a forest. Light and shadow co-create our image of the whole. Rather than judge the... Nope. Yeah. Rather than judge the worth of the part, pay attention to the necessary role each piece plays. 
The chaff protects wheat so it can grow and therefore has value even if it's not edible. Perceive not just with your mind, but with mind, heart, and soul together. I love that. Let me read that last line one more time. Perceive not just with your mind, but with mind, heart, and soul together. Mm, mm, mm. All right. So once you do that, then what you're going to do? Fight or flight. <laughs> I'm leaving it there, y'all. I pray that it resonates. If it does, you know what to do. For those of you who are new, that means comment your testimony down below. You never know how this may help someone grow, but especially in including yourselves, which I hope and pray that's what you're here for. Otherwise, why are you here, really? We all about healing, <laughs> growing, ascending over here, okay? Whether or not someone comes to mind, please do like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so very much for doing so. I truly appreciate it. If you want to join me for another MOTD, you can check the link in the description box below. I pray to see you there. If you're looking for anything outside of this, for like Zodiac Pick a Card, Zodiac readings in general, um, other general readings, love readings, moon, the Moonology series, you know what I'm saying? Check the playlist on my channel, y'all. There are plenty, plenty, plenty more out there. And I pray you find what you're looking for, all right? Regardless, though, I love you and thank you, you know, and, um, and I appreciate you anyway. Until the next one, please be easy. And don't forget your love and light. It truly makes everything all right. All right? Deuces.